What's going on everybody? So today what we're going to be going through is knowing the order of linked records in Airtable. So you have at least two tables, a linked record between them, and you want to know the order in which those records are linked. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help businesses probably just like yours. We help them build out solutions in Airtable that use tactics like this, like what we'll see today. So if you're interested in working with us, you can check out the link in the description, but without further ado, we'll jump right into the video now. So the first thing I assume you already have is you have at least one linked record in Airtable. In this example, we're gonna be using this database simple time interval reporting, which uses customers and a log. Each customer is linked to the log. You can see it's in here grouped by the customer. Uh, through this linked record. This is a linked record to the customer's table. We've filled this in manually, so you can see the order of the transaction numbers, but we're gonna add something that calculates this automatically. Now I will forewarn you, you're not gonna be able to get it, the field we're gonna use into the first field by itself, but it's gonna be pretty cool. So the first thing you need to understand is Airtable record IDs, and yeah, so we'll start off with that. One way you can find a record ID is if you expand the record over on the left, you hit the little expand thing, you'll see it right here. There's a record ID in the URL, a view ID, a table ID, and a base ID or an app ID. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a field. So I right click on one of my existing fields and I insert a field to the right. It's gonna be a formula field and we're gonna use the record. If you just start typing in record, you can use this formula. You want to use a closing parentheses and I usually call this dev record ID. I usually put dev in front of it so that it like scares people away from touching it because it's needed for the system to work, but it's not a very pretty field. So this is the Airtable record ID. To tell you a little bit about how this is going to work and why it works is if we use a formula called len that gives us the length of this record ID. So if we use the length of that record ID, we'll see it's always 17 characters. And that's gonna be very important in this. So now I'm gonna delete that. All right, so now we have a list of record IDs. What we're gonna to go to is our linked record field. And also one quick note is this really only works well when it's a one-to-many relationship, meaning that every item in this log table is only gonna be linked back to one customer. That is very critical. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the customers table. So we've added our record ID here. I'm gonna copy that field name. We're gonna go to the customers table. Here what you wanna do is we wanna add a rollup field of the record ID. And we would just wanna use array join. And then we'll create that field. So now each record in here has a list of all of our record IDs. If we go back to the log table, we'll go to the customer field. And if you want that, we'll add a, we'll, we're technically gonna add a rollout field. So we'll add it just to the right of this transaction one. So we're now gonna add a rollout field here and we're gonna do it based on the customer linked record. And we're gonna use that field we just created with the record IDs. To start off, we're just gonna use array join so I can show you kind of how this works. We're gonna call this order as well. So what you'll notice is this record shows up first. This record ID is first in the list. This record ID is second in the list. This record ID is third, and this record ID is fourth. You notice that's in every single one of these. So what we can do is we can use a formula to figure out the position of that record ID within this list. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, there's a search formula. Now this formula can get a little bit tricky because it doesn't give you any help when you're writing this. So, but we're gonna use a search formula and search from what I remember, it says, what string do you wanna find? So we're gonna say dev record ID. It's not gonna help you out with like pulling a new field name, so you'll just have to type it in exactly with a closing bracket and an ending curly bracket. They're both curly brackets. And then we're gonna say, so it should say, 
this is the string we're trying to find, which this string is text over here, this record ID. And then it says, where do you want to find it? So that's when we're going to use what we had before, which was array join. So now we're a little bit closer, but now what this is, is it's just numbers. So there is a pattern here, if you can notice the pattern. And so we're just going to add some math to this to get it to work right. So let's see, what we're going to do is we're first going to subtract one, see where that gets us. Now, I think that's a little bit easier math. And then I'm going to copy all of this formula and I'm going to actually, I'm just going to say plus 18. I could have just added 17, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to now copy that entire formula right there. And so if you copy the entire formula and you just put, use the open parentheses, it puts our parentheses on both end. I'm going to put my cursor all the way on the outside of that. Now what I'm going to do is divide by 18, which is essentially the length of the record ID and a comma. And now I get the order. And now as soon as I add a new one, it automatically knows the next item in the order on any of these lists. And that's how you do it. I'm going to show you real quick. It doesn't work to get this order in this first field over here. I would love it if it did, but if it, if I just try to replace this field right here, it should cause a circular reference. Yeah. So I don't think there's a way around that, but that at least gets you the order field like you clicked on the video for. So that's how you do the order field. If you are curious about learning more about the relationship between these linked records and how to do some cool reporting, which I want to give credit to Camille. She originally set up this base. Camille Parks. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can click this video in the end screen and learn more about aut automated reporting in Airtable.